North Korea is so poor and isolated, can it really help Russia in its war? Russian President Vladimir Putin visited North Korea this week for the first time in 24 years, all to kiss Kim Jong-un's ring in exchange for more weapons and a tighter relationship. Ukraine President Zelensky called it the loneliest bromance ever. Yay, my bro, love you bro. Yes, yes, I love you too, Kimmy. Get in here. This bromance only blossomed after Russia invaded Ukraine, because each side wants something from the other. But as opportunistic as it is, it doesn't mean this relationship isn't concerning. While there, Putin and Kim signed an alliance agreement where each would come to the other's aid if one is attacked. That's a big deal on both sides. Russia's in the middle of its war, and Ukraine is increasingly using weapons within Russia's borders, and tensions between North and South Korea are only growing further. And now North Korea has a military ally, which will embolden its behavior even more. Now, even though North Korea is one of the poorest countries in the world, it has vast stores of munitions. The U.S. says Russia has purchased millions of artillery shells from them, and South Korea says the North has sent at least 10,000 shipping containers that could hold as many as 4.8 million artillery shells. Debris found in Ukraine also proves that Russia is using North Korean ballistic missiles there. That kind of support plays a significant role in Russia's position in the war, since it had been struggling quite a bit until the last several months. Kim Jong-un also stands to gain a lot from this relationship. He's made a lot of money off these weapons deals at a time when the world is trying to sanction him. Not only does that violate UN resolutions Russia itself supported, but Russia Russia is now using its veto at the UN to protect North Korea from sanctions and disarmament, which then messes up the global effort to crack down on North Korea's nuclear and ballistic missile programs. North Korea also needs food, economic assistance, and technology, all of which Kim Jong-un can get from Russia. The bottom line is that while this relationship may not have been a natural one, and it includes two relatively weak and desperate states, together, both sides are stronger and pose a greater risk to international peace and security.